एंड वेलकम टू चाणक एस अकेडमी आई एम प्रिया कुमारी एंड टूडेज टॉपिक फॉर एनालिसिस इज मैनेजमेंट ऑफ कोविड 19 पैंडमिक एंड रिलेटेड इश्यूज सो एक्चुअली दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द रिपोर्ट विच वॉज रिसेंटली गिवन बाई द पार्लियामेंट्री स्टैंडिंग कमिटी ऑन होम अफेयर्स सो दिस पार्लियामेंट्री स्टैंडिंग कमिटी ऑन होम अफेयर्स ऑफ राज्यसभा हेडेड बाय आनंद शर्मा so this committee recently submitted this report name management of covid-19 and pandemic related issues so the report highlighted some issues and also gave some recommendations regarding it so we will see one by one so let's see some probable question that can be asked in prelims the question is consider the following statements statement 1 uh, it is common knowledge that the private sector is the dominant player in the healthcare arena in india almost 75% of healthcare expenditure comes from the pockets of households catastrophic healthcare cost is an important cause of impoverishment so which of the statements given above is are correct 1 and 2 only 2 and 3 only 1 and 3 only 1 2 and 3 so try to answer this question and uh, listen carefully to this video because uh, as you know that uh, health is uh, like important topic in prelims as well as mains try to uh, listen this video carefully so uh, we all know that this covid 19 was declared public health emergency of uh, international concern by who on 30th january 2020 so like 30th january 2020 so this was actually uh, h e i a public health emergency of international concern so this pandemic is still going on we have seen so much of vaccine is coming up so this this pandemic created unprecedented global crisis and human disaster and also this pandemic actually exposed so many loopholes in the health sector like if we talk about our health sector india's health sector then we can see that country ranks 145 among 195 countries on health care access and quality index then we can see that doctor patient ratio in india is 1 is to 1700 which is very much less than recommended 1 is to 1000 actually this is given by who who says ki Uh, एक डॉक्टर होना चाहिए थाउजेंड लोगों के लिए लेकिन इंडिया में क्या है एक डॉक्टर है सत्रह सौ लोगों के लिए सो एज पर दी नेशनल हेल्थ प्रोफाइल 2018, इंडिया पब्लिक हेल्थ स्पेंडिंग इज लेस देन इट इज लेस देन वन परसेंट ऑफ द कंट्रीज जीडीपी एंड एज पर दी ओ डेटा अवेलेबल फॉर टू लाइक दिस इज दी अवेलेबल डेटा India reportedly has 0.53 beds available per 1000 people. So we can see that the, this is the loophole in our health sector and parliamentary committee came up with this report and highlighted many issues. So we will see these issues and the recommendation by parliamentary committee one by one. So first is preparedness. First issue highlighted by the committee is this preparedness. so the committee said that this sudden imposition of lockdown this sudden imposition of lockdown it created actually fear and anxiety among migrant workers and also this sudden imposition of lockdown it did not give time people to prepare actually government didn't uh, looked into the nitty gritties of this lockdown thing and this costed hugely on this economic so this first thing was highlighted preparedness second is health funding Uh, this report highlighted that central and state governments incurred heavy expenditure of covid-19 treatment and related services third issue vaccines the report says that no emergency use authorization has ever be, ever been given by the central drug standard control organization set up under the drugs and cosmetics act 1940 so actually uh, this uh, report says that this vaccine trials and uh, the, the trials should be mandatory requirements must be fulfilled then all uh, phase of trials should be completed so uh, report highlighted this vaccine thing that no emergency authorization has ever been given 
so this issue ha has been highlighted in the report next is malpractices the report says that a report of private hospitals selling beds for treatment and black marketing and overpricing of some medicines like uh, we have seen in the news that how this private hospitals were charging to exorbitantly for one bed and the public uh, hospital they did not had this capacity to take more and more patients so this was the major loophole during this covid thing the next thing is data collection uh, we can see that a report highlighted that a study is needed to understand the patterns in test rate recovery and fatality rate then we need to identify such states where testing capacity is inadequate and districts where health infrastructure is lacking then uh, next issue highlighted by the report is economic impact it says that msmes are the one of the most adversely affected sectors during the pandemic so and uh, if we talk about the education the report says that social inequalities with respect to access to online classes like we can uh, this was seen social inequalities in rural areas no access to online classes ghar pe baithe hain sab bacche koi padhai nahi kar pa raha hai so the report highlighted these issues now we will see that what report has recommended to counter all these issues so first is preparedness this report asked to frame national plan and guidelines under the disaster management act 2005 and epidemic disease act 1897 then creating an institutional mechanism effective implementation of all decisions related to the pandemic timely and equitable distribution of relief to beneficiaries then forming a separate wing within disaster management authority which is set up under the 2005 act to handle such kind of pandemics then health funding strong public health care system across the country to deal with such shocks is needed then second is greater investment in health infrastructure especially greater allocation to public hospitals like already private hospital mein dekha hai bahut zyada investment acha khasa hai but public ko bahut zyada chahiye public hospitals ko so this report has given this recommendation third is vaccines the report is saying that all requirement must be fulfilled and all phases of trial must be completed emergency use authorization should only be given in the rarest of rare case so this covid 19 of course can say that rarest of rare case so it's time to give this authorization so we'll see the next thing data collections so in data collections it says that relevant data should be made publicly available to research community the research community and of course policy maker so that they can make the policy it will it will uh, help in policy making thing and uh, identifying the state where health infrastructure is not that good and district matlab like map kar dena usko ki ha yahan yahan pe ye problem hai yahan pe health infrastructure acha nahi hai so is type of data collections ek karna zaruri hai ye basically kya hai policy makers ke liye bahut kaam aayega ye cheez and the next next thing is mal practices so iske liye kya report kam comprehensive national public health act to keep a check on private hospitals and on black marketing of medicines then creating awareness campaigns on availability of cheaper and effective repurposed medicines then making quality and affordable medicines available to everyone then exercising regulatory oversight on hospitals to avoid refusal of health insurance claims making covid-19 treatment cashless for the insured like uh, insurance company ne bhi bahut manmani ki in fact sab ne bahut manmani ki insurance company like they they charged uh, heavy premium especially to um, vulnerable section ko to aur un logon ne matlab pareshan kiya to is pe bhi report ne ye recommendation diya hai then next is social and economic impact it says that a national database on migrant workers be launched at the earliest then a decent minimum wage food security safe living condition for all workers the need to support msmes with dire working capital requirements fiscal stimulus and other interventions to help the revival of hospitality sector and related services we can see that impact on education is pe kya bol raha hai report is pe bol raha hai ki financial assistance and low cost devices to students 
discipline strengthening of digital infrastructure and training teachers to conduct online classes so ye recommend kiya hai now we will see the answer of the questions which was asked initially the answer should be like d should be the answer so this question actually is framed from the report that is designing health financing systems to reduce catastrophic health ex expenditure this report was given by actually who so who uh, said that it is common knowledge that the private sector is the dominant player in the healthcare arena in india almost 75% of healthcare expenditure comes from the pockets of households catastrophic healthcare cost is an important cause of impoverishment then catastrophic health expenditure is defined as out of pocket spending for healthcare ठीक है दैट एक्सीड्स अ सर्टेन प्रपोर्शन ऑफ हाउस होल्ड इनकम विथ द कॉन्सिक्वेंस दैट हाउस होल्ड सफर्स दी बर्डन ऑफ डिसीज दिस इज ऑल फॉर टूडे थैंक यू एंड डू कमेंट ऑन द कमेंट बॉक्स कि आपको कोई और टॉपिक चाहिए जिसपे और अच्छे से एनालिसिस करना हो तो प्लीज कमेंट करें थैंक्स एंड हैव ए नाइस डे डोंट फॉर गेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल एंड प्रेस दी बेल आईकन टू नेवर मिस एन अपडेट